Okay, so it's been a while since I've done any sort of video. Um, I've been seeing some bits and pieces about people struggling to get amplitude to work with Helix or Line 6 kit. Um, it's pretty easy. So quick tutorial on how to get your amplitude 4, 5, whatever version you've got to work with your Line 6 kit. The first thing you're going to need to do is download this. So it's ICO for all. And that's where you get it from, just there. Um, don't use the um, IK Multimedia drivers for this purpose. They're shit. Don't use Line 6s. They're shit. Uh, you need this one, um, and it will work just fine and dandy. I've got mine down to uh, 64 samples. There's zero latency. You can't hear it. Um, dead easy. So once you've installed that, all you do is create a little patch um, on your Helix editor, whatever, Normal shenanigans with your guitar in, got it set to zero. Um, sorry to no sort of gate on it or anything. Automatic for um, this whole thing in my bobby here. Impedance. Okay, so this bit here, set that to USB 3 4. Now, what you're going to have to do is bump it up to plus 20 decibels in order to get a decent signal into amplitude. So up to plus 20. Amplitude then sits between here and here. Okay, so your re-entry back into Helix. Three and four again. And there's nothing going on here. And then to whatever your output is. So mine's set to an XLR. Um, I run mine in stereo through two um, stereo PA speakers, which is awesome. Um, so that's all you need to do with that for your basic setup. Okay, so... Amplitude, dead easy. Fire it up. Um, this is a Brian May patch I've got going on, which I'll do a separate video for about how I've got it set up. Go into Preferences, select ICO as Technology, and your input device is ICO for all version 2. Left channel Helix 3, right channel Helix 4. Same as your output device, buffer size 64. Now, if you hit Control Panel, it just brings this up again, just make sure they're matching. Now the only pain in the dick is when you fire up amplitude, every time it'll bring you up at 256 samples, so you have to go in and change it. Um, there's also a way to get um, your Helix to control all your effects. I'll do um, a separate video on that, but dead easy, it's really fucking handy. Because um, undoubtedly, some of the amplitude stuff blows Helix out the water, certainly the Brian May set. It's uh, just fucking amazing, man. Um, so this is quite easy to do. Um, and you can pretty much seamlessly use your Helix with amplitude, even changing banks up and down. You can send your, set your back banks into here. So when you bank up and down, it will go to whatever channel on your Helix. Now, it might be that you want to run stuff either before it hits amplitude. Now, obviously, it doesn't matter if that's mono or stereo, but if you're going to run stereo, make sure any blocks that you put in here, which are completely post the Amplitude app, uh, it might be a boost or something like that, make sure that um, you put them in stereo if you want to run in stereo, otherwise it'll sum it down to mono. Um, and it really is as easy as that, folks. Um, nothing more to it. Piece of piss, you will get a nice, clear, even signal. If you try and do it, with um, the Helix ICO drivers or the IK drivers, it will sound like a bag of shit. So make sure you download the ICO for all ones. Okay, that's all, folks.